All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, Hill Creek Outdoors. Got another video today. No, it's not on this wood behind us. We just got done cutting that. We're going to be taking those logs to the sawmill here soon. But, yeah, you guessed it once again. It's on the 2022 Polaris Ranger XP1000 Crew Cab Edition. Um, I really think that we're giving you guys some value, different things that we're adding on onto it as accessory-wise that can help you guys out. Um, we use the Polaris Ranger a, a lot on the property, and I hope you guys enjoy the things we've been showing you. But we have an opportunity here for two more products from Kimi Moto, so thank you to them for sending them to us. But what we're going to be installing today, hey, it's, it's deer season, right? Actually, right now is Saturday, the last, well, not the last day, but the last weekend of Ohio gun season. So um, what better way to, to kind of end it off with a couple gun holders? So we have a gun holder that's going to be placed underneath the front passenger seat of the Ranger. Um, it kind of bolts on there, and we'll show you how to do that. But then we also have what they call a UTV tool holder, and it goes on the rear bed. You can put things like shovels in there rakes you can also put a gun so we're going to show you what's in the box how to install it a review kind of things you can put throw in there and i hope you guys enjoy it but let's get right into this video don't forget to like and subscribe hit that bell notification so you always get up to date when we post our next video let's go all right here we go first one's up we're going to do the one that's on the uh, bed here if you know on the back of the ranger Players Rangers, they have holes in the back of the bed. Those are for like their easy ride system or lock. Well, they, I think they're called lock and ride systems. Uh, the things, attachments you can do. Um, if you've seen on the channel in the past, we put in these hooks here. These are good tie down hooks. So review, take a look at those those videos where that's at. Um, it'll be somewhere on the screen or um, at the end and the, where you can go into it if you want to review it or watch it. Um, but these have been really nice. So they're gonna. this is going to take advantage of that same exact system to drop down in the hole. So what you have in the box, everything's really well. Whoa, I almost lost it. Really well packaged. So I'm going to take it all out here real quick and show you what we got. Two holders. These right here are going to screw on to. Let me pull this out and I'll show you. Throw that down in there. Here's your instructions. Um, really well instructions. I'll let you guys review those if you want, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So that's where they go because I already reviewed them. All right, guys. So you, the way they have this is you take this off right here, and then you're going to come on now. You're going to take each one of these, and you're going to position them the way you want. I'm going to put them straight up. Well, I guess I should put it on right. I'm going to put it straight up. That way when you put it in, right, it's like this. And then you can put either a shovel, gun, rake, you know, you name it, on there like that. All right, so once you have this all put together, you're going to take this the other rubber piece. You're going to go ahead and start screwing it on, right? And then the good thing about this type of system is you just drop it right down in and start turning, and it will tighten itself up. Right, look at there, starting to tighten up, and you just keep screwing until it's tight, and there it is. So, before we put that other one on, I want to show you how this kind of works. So, you have that other knot, uh, well, nut wing nut like thing. You can see these little notches here, these little notches, so you can put those. Any way you want, you'll just loosen up that wing nut and you can kind of adjust it however you want, right? All you gotta do is put it in whatever notch and then tighten it down. Like I said, we're gonna make it straight for our application for this, for today. So that's how we'll do it. We're gonna throw it right here. That way it gives us the ability to, you know, have a little room here in the front, but still give it nice and sturdy. And I personally like these faced in so that's how i'm gonna do it let me tighten this up a little bit before we throw it in there we go you can tighten it up a little bit before you actually put it in the hole that way you don't have to spin it quite as much so once you get it and it don't take long there we go maybe i can get one more 
Perfect. So now you can take those wing nuts, you can loosen them up, turn this out if you need to have some clearance to do that. Um, if you have something longer, whatever the case may be. It does come with these two little kind of ring things. So you can throw them on there, just like so. And they go in these notches to where you can tighten your stuff down. There you go. That's those. The, that is called the UTV tool holder. Like I said, you can put anything in there, shovel, rake, gun, you name it. Let's go ahead and install the gun holder that goes underneath the passenger front seat. So now we're going to move on to the gun holder in the front for the front passenger seat. Just raise your front passenger seat up there and it works. You're going to bracket it on right here. So let's unbox it here and show you what we got in it. All right, so let's move on to the gun holder that goes underneath the um, passenger seat here. Once again, in the box, they have really nice instructions, very detailed. Um, I've already reviewed them, so I'm gonna throw these off to the side and I'll kind of go over what they say um, and how you do it. So everything comes really nicely packaged. There's two of these here. And these are once again, just like the thing we, the gun holder we installed, or the tool holder we installed on the back, they're pretty much the same thing. They have different notches and you can adjust them however you feel you need. And then they come with the rubber um, band as well. So let me put these off to the side and we'll go ahead and get all this unpackaged here. But what our first step will be is to put the bracket on that we're going to, and it's going to go right up here like this. And that way we can install the holder. So let me get all this stuff unboxed and then I'll show you how to put it all on. All right. So once you raise the passenger seat up, you're going to have this, these uh, screws right here that are going to be good thing with the Polaris Ranger XP 1000 or the Polaris Ranger is you can use the pre-existing um, screws that they have. Um, you're going to put the bracket on this bracket here. It'll go just like this, this hole up. You're going to have a push, kind of like a, uh, what do you call them? A trim button that goes in there that comes with the, the, uh, the gun holder kit. The other, also gun holder kit comes with three extra bolts, but those are for, I believe the Can-Am, but this is for the Polaris Ranger. So we're going to go ahead and remove these three and throw the plate on. They are a star. Um, if I was you, um, since it's already here, you can use uh, a drill. Just make sure you're careful. And what we're going to do is we'll throw this on like this and we're going to get it started obviously finger tight or with we'll start it with our fingers it also comes with a allen wrench if you want to use the allen wrench we'll go ahead and push this in well, actually we'll do that later just get it started before you use any power tools that's just a good rule of thumb And then this one, get it started with our fingers before we use our power tools. Just a good rule of thumb once again. We don't want to tighten it too much, just, just enough where it's not rattling. All right, now we got that on, we're going to take our trim push piece we're gonna put it in there latch it down and your bracket is on so let's go ahead and get these put together um, once again they're just like the ones on the back for the tool holder has these slots where you can adjust however wide or big you want um, we're gonna go ahead and make it right about there because it uh, there because it does come with once again these um, rubber hold-ons so you're going to take this, you're going to get um, four of these in the kit. Actually, I believe five of these in the kit. Um, you'll take this and you're going to, just going to tighten it up. 
And this gives it the ability to, you can loosen it and adjust it as quick and easy. So there's that one. You're going to take this piece here and you'll hook it on like so. Actually, I'll put it uh, yeah, like this because you're going to want it to turn down. You're going to throw another one of these on here. Let me do this one. I'll get the other one put together, and then we'll uh, get ready to put it on the thing. Now we got both of these tightened on to this piece here. You're going to take the next piece. Once again, you can adjust this however you want, uh, but once again, we're going to make it go straight up like so. You're going to take your last one. It's a longer one. So you're going to do the two short ones here, and then you have three longer ones that will go in these positions. So let's get this tightened up, and then uh, we'll show you the two backings that you're going to put on this to tighten it down. In the kit, you're going to get these two little brackets, and then you're going to have four of these circular wing nuts. You're going to slip that through there like that. And starting to tighten it down. You're not going to get it tight because you're going to leave these a little loose to where you can slide them onto here. So you're going to do the top and the bottom. So you could probably put all these on both in probably, I would say, 20 minutes. Um, that's if you're just taking your time. Shouldn't take no longer than 20 minutes. So now we got those on. You should be able to slide this right on like so. Just like that. You're going to position it where you want. I'm going to take it all the way over as far as it'll go. Um, that way it's straight in the middle. And tighten them up all evenly until it's nice and secured. And it's not going to rattle. So we got... I'm gonna make sure you tighten them square that way they're not rattling around. So we got it installed. Let's go ahead and open up this door. Show you what it looks like. As you can see, the door is or the seat's down now. You still have your clearance underneath where you can still put a bucket. If you flip the seat up, you should be able, be able to fit a bucket, but you can still put stuff under there. You flip your seat up here, nothing hits. It's all good in clearance. See, you can still put a bucket in there, still utilize that if you're not going to put anything in the gun rack. But here you go. It is on there solid. Look at that. So let's go throw a couple guns in here. I got my boy with me, so we'll throw a real gun in there and then a BB gun. Show you how it is. We'll ride around a little bit, but we'll also go ahead and throw... Uh, hey, let's just throw a shovel in there, and we'll get you some videos of us driving around and how they hold up and all that. Alright, so let's go ahead and throw these guns in there. We'll go ahead and do uh, mine first on this side. We just got a 12 gauge with a Vortex scope. Um, so we'll throw it in there, just like so. And then you can take this around through here. And tighten it up. Look at that, it ain't going anywhere beautiful now my son's got his little bb gun here so we'll get his out throw it in thank you buddy make sure you always do proper gun safety and never point it at anything that you don't want to hurt kill or destroy so we're going to tighten his just a little bit more because his is a little bit smaller than a normal 12 gauge so here you go on this side, just kind of give you a better view of it. Two guns placed nicely in there, locked down, on the floor, sturdy. Just want to give you that view. All right, so we got a shovel here. Let's go ahead and loosen these up, and we'll throw this shovel in. The good thing about this is, guys, that you can put whatever you really want in here. If you want the shovel this way or you want it that way, it's a tool holder. You slide this right down in here. 
and you can do shovel you can do you could even put a gun in here give you three guns with just these two products or you can do tools you could put a weed eater you know anything you name it tighten those down to where they don't it don't move around we'll do this one and these are this is quick and simple I don't know how much easier this is here you go look at that I mean it ain't going nowhere so let's head down the driveway here and see how well this rides as well as the gun rack first I'm also gonna turn this that way well not that way if you turn it yeah turn it this way if you turn it this way you can boom use your bed and your tailgate and nothing nothing hits we're good let's roll down the driveway So we're going down the driveway right now. We're about 10 miles an hour. Yeah, so we're going down the driveway here just so you can kind of see what we got going on. That's 19 miles an hour, give you context. 18 miles an hour, but they are solid, not rolling around. We got the, uh, look at this. We got the shovel in the back. So we're gonna come down here to the bridge and stop and see what they look like when we're done. Well, let's just stop right here, what do you think? Look at that. Still in there solid. Let's go check out the, the shovel here. Never even budged. And then you can work. On this rear holder for the UTV, you can move them around in whatever holes you want. So this is another application where you can put it in the back there and get your stuff out of the wind. Um, that way it's not sticking out. You don't have to worry about it potentially hitting on anything going through your brush or anything like that. So this is a little bit better protection. So you have all type of versatility with that type of holder. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something of value. Hey, here's a big thing. Both of these products, as you can see, they are tested, driving around. I think they're going to hold up very well, great quality, and they're going to be um, definitely useful for us. I hope for you guys get them um, and use them on, on your property or with your Ranger, whatever the case may be, your UTV. Um, once again, we have the UTV tool holder, which goes in the back of the Ranger um, XP1000 bed. Um, as you can see, held up really well. Nothing moved around. You could put tools in there like shovels, rakes, or even a gun. Um, and then we also installed the front gun holder there on the passenger seat. Um, it holds two guns. Um, you could even put tools in there as well if you want to. So if you have a small compact shovel, wherever the case may be, you can utilize that for that as well. But as you can see, it held up really well. Hold your guns there nice and easy and solid. That way you can drive with ease knowing that you're going to get to where you're hunting or wherever you're going to be doing. Um, without your equipment getting damaged so i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time here on hill creek outdoors we'll see ya